We want every side to come together to attempt to take down the honey side. Man, they got to understand. We want all right? the smoke. We go off the content. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey there, welcome back to the channel where we keep it real. No capping. I'm your host, bringing you nothing but straight fire and authenticity. Today, we're diving into 12 rooms that I got to promote the 100 ENT showroom, hosted by Big Wack 100, the Beehive Room, Love and RB Room, hosted by the Queen of the 100 side, RB, No Room for the Week, No Mercy Room, Spin the Block Room. 100 ENT Jake Break Squad Room, 100 ENT South Room, Petty Betty and Toxic Tanya Room, Dangerous Minds Room, hosted by Beast, Good Burger, hosted by Pitbull, Sleepless in LA, and many more. If you want to get closer or you want to be a part of the show, go to Clubhouse, follow one of these rooms, or you look for a room titled With WAC 100. These particular videos all made possible by the one and only WAC 100. Get ready to vibe with me as we explore the hardest topics that need some real recognition in the streets. Let's jump right into it and show some love to this channel by hitting the like and or subscribe button. So without further ado, hold it down, hold it down. One mic on WAC. Necessarily do. The alcohol, all of that shit. Um, I'm sorry. I, I would beg to differ. I would, I would like to see that. That's like a, a it it's all that's always been happening alcohol always happens has i always mean we're not talking about you know that's that's a given if you're doing that kind of shit that's a given but um <laughs> um i think um uh, and another day jeremy he just not saying it right yeah the older there the we older go. the older a woman gets she gets to a point to where either she don't want to be bothered her expectations are just so high it just ain't realistic. And they look up and they be 58. And from 58 to 58, then they be 62. And then alone. it's like, and it's, alone. it's over. You're alone. Mm-hmm. Most That's real happened. shit. You got that from like 45 to probably like 53. <laughs> if you're single, those are the years that like, you kind of like locked down with somebody. Yeah, because you got to be honest. Because after man's... that, after that, it's just going <laughs> yeah. to One man's walking around like, you know what? I can't wait to tear me off a piece of a 50-year-old woman. Because pussy. watch this. Ever. Most men there are... There are you... many. There are Most many. men in their 50s, <laughs> they trying to date down to something in their 40s. Exactly. In their 30s. 38, right, because you don't want to really 40. deal with somebody and who has rich. a mom. Wax, you, don't wanna, you don't want to. You don't want to. It's like Wax said. They don't. And if they're rich, they're in their twenties. <laughs> no, thirty-eight. To, a nigga fifty-three. He not trying to come across a fifty-three-year-old woman. He 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 Unless thirty. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, but I, I like, mean, not no bad fuck grown ass woman <laughs> out here. I hate y'all. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. PTR everybody's picture that's over fifty, and you go ahead and let me know who's I mean, I'm not bad 50, as fuck. So <laughs> Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm J Lo. Oh, I got somebody. Hey, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> I got somebody over fifty. Hold on. What was the question? Who tried to? Who tried to? Mary add J Blige, to fifty something, right? Who? Mary J Blige. <laughs> she Mary J Blige looked like a foot. Stop lying. <laughs> She, Mary J. Bias look good, but she don't look that okay, good. How old is look, her look, face? Her body look how great. J -Lo? How old her is body J -Lo? looks like melting ice cream. Stop how it. Penelope Cruz, how old is J-Lo? How old are they? They, they look, look good, Bias, but they don't... Great? Oprah they get, Winfrey? They get nothing. Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey okay. looks like she jumped in the inner tube. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Not crazy. You keep naming women that are like just not it. 
These ladies kind of getting up there now. I just need to wait a minute. Let me see how Jeremy looks since he got all this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not the sexiest man of America. Hello. Okay, so she's different from men. They could have a big ass stomach. You know what I'm saying? But Bald what? head, be, and they could blink twice, fine. and they could still no, get the young, the, the young girl. Let me, let me I'm on one. Don't, don't don't okay, clarify. they be playing hey, too much. Hey, now let me clarify they that situation. Have a bag behind that stomach. They better have a bag as big as the stomach. As long as you got a bag. You see how y'all switched no to the equivalent to the yeah yeah I got a bag I'm good. How old is J Lo? She got a great body. You're good. You're is good. But 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 are the two for the bag? I'm two for the bag. So if you okay with having women, <laughs> y'all know I'm right. No, I don't. I don't yeah, fully. He, nah, he I don't fully disagree right. with um Jeremy in regard <laughs> to what he's saying. I don't, dis I don't disagree. Yes, we. Uh, I'm giving it a seven to twelve percent now. I'm gonna tell <laughs> yeah, well, you. Well, that's I'm what gonna I'm tell you why. Just don't say all. No, there I'm are. not. Never gonna say okay. all. I'm gonna okay. tell you why. I'm not higher. I probably could have pushed fifteen to eighteen percent, but I'm factoring out those good looking, crazy niggas. Yeah. Wait, the good looking what? Crazy. <laughs> he's talking about the. He's talking about the hot black. Us. Y'all love us. Nah, nigga, no, no, but he's, nigga, he's that age because you gotta remember, that. more than likely he has went through at least one, if not two divorces. Nigga, at that well, age is not. He's only identifying with the half black, half Asians. Those are the only ones that get away with age. No, this is real shit. Like, not when you get like real. 53, you done went through at least one, if not two. Right? You're not. You're not. So, gotta. We got a percentage of those snobbish, uppity, burnt out, evil, mean, good looking women. And that age group. Oh, well, yeah. Well, she's crazy too then. I mean, I dig you know, it now, about it now. Like, I'm talking about the rich, you know, like. No, when you say, look, I know a lot of pretty ugly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You get so at 53. You ain't trying to lock down with that. You really go find somebody that got some room, nigga, to be molded a little bit. Not molded at 50. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> a 53-year-old man ain't dealing with no crazy ass. Yeah, well, then it just has to be in her, I think. At that point, I'll tell, 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 tell you what. I bet you we can take a poll on this room. Watch this. I bet we can take a PTR. The I bet we can take a poll in the room, and I bet you for the women who are above fifty in this room right now, seventy percent of them don't have a man. You want to bet? I don't know. If ain't house. nobody fifty in here. <laughs> it ain't got. We ain't got a lot of women that's fifty, and the ones that are, they married. So the ones that are in the young, uh -huh. what you need to do is you need to go ahead and get that check cash before it cashes out. That's what I'm saying. So line a man up. Get uh, get your shit together. I actually <laughs> agree. I agree with you on that. Get your shit together before you hit 40 and your ache stops like feeling and all kind of weird. Two years old. Yo, I was just asking, can I explain what, what, what's going on with this picture? It's not a and It's a and uh, Hey, who uh, is this dude, y'all? No, no, no. That's that part, man. Bro, bro, mute up, bro. So happy, I want to put some things in your brain, too. Or something. You gotta move. Not, I, I want to kill you, right? So. Yo, this huh? is drinking for show. Yo. This Yo. Dude, yeah. Come on, man. Hey. <laughs> what is this happening? How many y'all mad about Kamala? Come on, be honest. Oh, they was upset. They was upset. Shit. <laughs> Jeremy. Y'all all messy. <laughs> I don't think sure who was it. mad. Was, was it really mad people, or yeah, was yeah. was it yeah. a little disappointment? Like what? Kamala what was the did, anger? Kamala did just get beat. She got crushed. She got crushed. She yeah. did not get crushed. That's okay. I mean, that's okay. It's, uh, it's done and over now, right? Yeah, so what are we doing means. moving forward? Because uh, because. No, but it as as a as a um, as America, what we doing moving forward as he takes office? What, what we doing? doing yeah. In the first, like the uh, factors. Come on, me as a man. Yeah, in a relationship. Oh, uh, minute, mm -hmm. you, um, minute I find I find out you doing anything outside of 
outside of me knowing, I don't give a what it is, business, anything. You, I'm out. You, if I, if I, if I detect you doing anything slick, anything slick, nigga, you, that's over. way. Because in my world, that means you could be brought, you could be brought, and you could be manipulated. Yeah, you, you need transparency on every you, level. Yeah, use a threat like I, any of that type of shit. Right, I'm out. Yeah, anything outside of what we are building and what we built, like that's <laughs> deception. And women yeah, got this you. problem, right? You'll build a female up and, and show her about some business and then introduce her to people that you're doing business with and all this other shit, right? And then next thing you know, you then double that, contact your people for some other people. You don't know it until the deal go bad. Now your people hitting you saying, well, we only dealt with her because you brought her with you to the table. Then I'm like, yo, what the f you doing doubling them back on the email that I got you on because I'm teaching you something. I got you involved in something to my people. And then here come the the female shit. The attitude at that point is over. Mm. I'm out. I'm out. I wouldn't get I yeah, know it should be immediately. Hey, babe, I'm, I'm about to hit so-and-so. No, right. ain't no about to hit you. But I'm, I'm out then, too. I what do you know? tell me wait, what she wait. about to do with my business. Wait, wait, wait. Right, boy, if you better a, come okay, have a conversation. If, <laughs> yes, if there, if I now have an opportunity with these people and I come to you and say... All day. I'm cool. But boy, you going to do some shit and I'll find yeah. out? Oh, yeah, that's... Because yeah. at that point, at that point, you got some type of hidden agenda, weird motive. And I ain't got time to be figuring that shit out. That's Especially fact. if you ain't said nothing. That's a fact. You, you ain't said nothing, and I ain't gonna figure it. I ain't gonna be trying to yeah, spend no, my that's time figuring it. Shit. That, yeah, or no. even it's like so Wax so said, he somewhere. said, if you telling me that's what you doing, that's that's something different too. Because yeah, yeah, we're it's not a no more. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you tell me, hey, um, I had some people come at me with the book. That's what I meant. We were involved yeah. with the book, the book, and I know your people over there with the book, the book. Possibly you could. You know, arrange for me to boom, boom, boom. It's not. I'm gonna let you run your play. Yeah, yeah. That's Boy, what you I go meant on when there because you on I the email. Me. You on the email because I didn't CC you on the email so you can see what's going on. Any event that something happened to me, you can keep it going on, whatever it may be. And you do some double back. Oh no. Can't do it. The rest of this shit, it, it don't even matter because a lot of that start going on because they don't even respect that. They don't respect that. They definitely do that. See, they don't tell you about the email. Yeah, because they, they don't hit the you business. and tell you. Next thing, yeah, they use yeah, it. Like, next thing you know, the man on the other end, ladies, is going to say, this really is moving without the nigga knowing so let me take it a step further yeah it's an open door the crazy thing is he, uh, the women don't already know that. That'd be the crazy. They be acting like they just so naive. No, they know it. I think they know it every time. They be front. Yeah, they know it. They just yeah. The 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 the. I didn't know it's, it's a cover up. Yeah, because you because you. Uh, cause I think bad. that I don't you're know. Bad. No, it's it's the lack of respect already. It's like oh yeah. I got caught. Yeah. Because if you don't know, then you need to communicate with him and find out. If you don't know, you talking to him about it because you don't know. Yeah. When you make the move, your ass know. You just think you could get away with it. Come mm -hmm. on now. Yeah, boss. Yeah, it's very sneakiness. Yeah, so basically no sneaky shit going. And if the deal goes through, see, right. like, let's put it on the other spectrum. So if the deal goes through, he never knows, right, until the deal goes through. And be like you use used by you. What usually happens then? The female starts to think she's you and she get to do it even more shit. Although everything she knows or even that email, that contact comes through you.
Like, it, then it get weird. Next thing you know, everything get weird. Mm. Now, the business partners that she reached out to, though, is it well, is it their obligation to contact you? Like, hey, this is going on? Like or it's okay? Like, you find out when you find out. What'd you say? I said the, 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 the people that she's contacting that you are... You oh, know the direct gonna, connect. Are they what reaching out to you? That, yeah. What I usually do in that situation, right, is I let it go all the way through. <laughs> I let it go all the way through and make and blow it up and play her out of everything she thought she had and sit back and don't say a word. I won't even say nothing. I won't say a word. I won't let me. <laughs> look That's at, good strategy, right everything there. Everything she thought put up is gone. I won't say a word. So you and didn't then say I word? come out of like, hey, um, uh, why I need set? I'm sure seventy five thousand on the deal. I, I, it'd be the exact amount I know. You're sitting there to me. You got that right. You got it right. <laughs> I'll wait a couple days. Is it a reason why you didn't wire that to me? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the deal. Oh, you didn't tell me about that deal. Huh? Huh? Yeah, the deal. It didn't work out the way you thought it would. You know why? Because you don't know what you think you know. With my people, my team, so we blew the deal up on purpose. Why would you do that? I mean, it is what it is. You gonna sit it back? No. If you wanna leave, you can leave. I'm up. I wouldn't give anyway. It's a snake. Now, hopefully the next nigga I just made it better for him. I know that's right. Now you're going to take the time and, you know what I mean, ask before you just do your own mother. Yeah, like with the somebody else. Doing, like, yeah. you know. And the problem no, with women these crazy. days, they don't know, they don't want to be women no more, Drewby. All these, they got this shit, we're equal and all this that's shit. And they read into that, that, we can stand as a man. And, and a you're fact. right. You just can't stand with me as a man. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. But if, if a woman her money, would that be more tolerable? Potentially. Potentially. But like, so I, you have a motive as well, then. That's what it looks like. You should like. have a motive. You should have a motive. And but everybody has a motive. Sure on now, nah, hold on. But let's categorize that. Like, that's some sexual shit. That's some lustful shit. But, like, you know be, even saying? beyond like, that, she like looking mentally. At, I mean, too. but you just said, like, your description of what you just said, just all, like, you know what I mean? It's just all, you know what I mean? And that's your whole reason for being in the relationship. Sound like I'm Yo, not... is that Rosetta? <laughs> Just uh, oh. uh, audio that say Rosetta is that our main? No, the that's main. That's our audio. audio. That's Rosetta's oh, audio. audio. Yeah, I'll be like, I've got to learn your audio because Naughty was trying to pull audio up the other day, and now I got spun that. I'm like, what kind is this? PT, so you got certain requirements, or you just want to have fun? Which one? No, I have requirements. So what? What's your requirements? I mean, we mentally have to click. You have to be understanding. Oh, that's like a it bad goes requirement. Deeper than that. Why? That's a bad requirement. Why is that a bad that's requirement? A, I'm just trying to <laughs> Cause niggas are fake understanding in a minute, so that they mentally click. It's like I'm telling you, that's how Boy, she nigga. getting caught up on these phone calls. That's why she on the phone until she realized they really ain't mentally. A nigga will fake understanding in a minute. I think, I'm just saying, and especially if you making the the, the the mistake of you opening up, telling them what it is. Oh, yeah, nigga, nigga, be gonna fake then. You should start off and getting them to tell you about them. And that'll tell you what you wanna do. Make sense? 
Absolutely. And if you keep telling the guy, <clears throat> I'm looking for this and the guy and that and the guy and the guy is this and the guy is that, that, this, oh, they're going to be all them things. TT, when a guy first meets you, what's the first thing on his mind? TT? <laughs> Set. When a guy, okay, and he'll do what to get it? Anything he has to. Oh, okay. So now you understand why what I just said, what I said, right? Yes, Black. Oh, okay. There you have it. Maybe you should tell him, hey, tell me something about yourself. Just food for talk. And if you keep getting on that phone, I'm looking for a guy that's this and a guy that's that. <clears throat> and a guy that does this. And my last guy did that. Oh, I would never do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I do. Oh, yeah. That is, that's basic. Like, that's normal. Like, a man's supposed to. He going to tell you all that. Boy, he get that. You're going to find out every day he do or don't do. That's a fact. <laughs> That's fact. Play real nice all the way up until then. That's a fact. TT was talking about it. It was about something else. Like, you know, you would get past that. Like, if she finds somebody that's intelligent, sophisticated, and everything she wants, you know, if he ain't got the right equipment, it's a wrap. Damn. Poor kid. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It sounds like. Oh, no, that's not going there. I get the message of I'm it. I'm not going there. <laughs> that's right. Oh, no, and everybody else I was like, damn. What? She was she saying. She knows the situation she went through. A nigga told her everything he wanted to hear. You want, that's it. I, I think that one of the things that uh, stuck out to me is that like, hey, you get in there to this relationship and it's not exactly what you thought it was. You know, you went in because of the previous experience that you had thinking this type of workout, but this time it don't work. You know what I mean? It may seem like taking your ball back. It may seem like, hey, why'd you jump in? You should have already learned the lesson, but sometimes it just don't work like that. Man, roll through it till something that, just something the right thing grab your attention. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. <clears throat> Nigga, if it's a thousand doors in the building, open every last one of them mother up. <laughs> That's a fact. And you get to building 500 and come across something that strikes your interest, then cool. I, I like that analogy. Don't leave no stone unturned. That one too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. You regret the day you left that out open and all them doors. <laughs> That's a fact. You can think about <laughs> life. Damn, I with all these motherfuckers. Ladies, I just think they be so caught up. <clears throat> when a nigga do approach them, they just turn the nigga down just because they don't even know why. Mm, don't even know why. They'll say, for the next six months, I'm just doing me. So they intentionally ignore everything come at them. And not knowing that it might have been in. Whole time still getting hit by the person that they don't want to be with. No, they had shut everything down. They had literally shut it all down. Every day. That's true. That's true, too. They had shut it all down. <clears throat> but when they shut it all down, when that person is trying to get their attention, they, they just they shut it down. Hmm. Ladies. Why don't y'all be feeling optimistic? <laughs> <laughs> they were saying what they have faith, man. What are optimistic about? They said they have faith. Yeah, about what? Up, setting it all down. Like, you set it down. That's the conclusion, right? 
To settle down? No, shut it all down. Like oh. when, you know, they... Things they, ain't going your way. Well, no, because like... A lot of women, at least for me, yeah. you gotta like, you go back, you be like that. So you feel like you gotta like go into solitude, go on your clipboard, put the red string out and be like, all right, all right, gotta rebuild, gotta rebuild and be better. Like, so you don't f up again. So it's like, it's like the horse in the race. You put the blinders on, you'd be like, fuck it, let's go. I honestly be feeling like y'all just don't learn from shit y'all go through. I ain't gonna lie, that's we just do, what I be do, feeling do, like. We do, we do, we do, I learned. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't hit it from, <laughs> that'd be right Damn. in their face, they wouldn't even hit it. No, nah, I be feeling like that, I was just saying, I don't know. I mean, there are some, but those are those who don't <laughs> like, want to sit gonna, down and like see the lesson here. Really the lesson. I'm gonna put it right in your face so you can hit it. Oh, they missed it. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Not everybody Drew P. I, I be like, oh <laughs> shit, I'm gonna get a little closer this time. They, they right. got to oh, hit the, they got to hit it. Oh <laughs> shit, they missed I'm gonna get a You know what? I give up. Oh my god. <laughs> like I'm an underhand. <laughs> <laughs> underhand is <laughs> funny too. <laughs> oh shit. Like, just hold your hands up. I swear, hold like, oh out. no. Put I close just... together, close. <laughs> like, all right. the shit that you steal. <laughs> You know what, Drew B? They missed it. This ideology they got, this this spiritual world they live in, I don't know. Oh, they got they got so listen, they got their own definitions. It's hard and hey, listen, they came for that. Hold up for a second. Alright, I'm about to, I'm, I got you. Hey, Wax gone from that uh he's not on there no more. Do you still want us to Um, well, let's just I think the out. stream is over. You got to rewind it. He was, he been on there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. All right. Thanks, Rosetta. Yeah, y'all, ping up Shadow Room. We're going to rewind that and listen to what was going on with Wack and Hassan Campbell on live. No, 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 no. I deserve... Okay. Ain't no way, ain't no way. At this point, I remember talking to who's saving us. And none of them is going to help us. And none of them is the blame. We are the blame at this point. Now, it was a, it was a person saying they use celebrities. And they've right. been using celebrities right. as... They've been using celebrities as this way of gravitating to the poor communities. I've been getting phone calls, text messages, vote, vote, vote. You know how many y'all want to use rappers? You know how many rappers died from drug overdoses? And you tell me you want to use rappers? You know how many rappers is in jail right now? Singers? And the thing about it is this, though. We are up now. Like, this is the most black people have ever made in history in America. You got people that come from the same struggles we do that's billionaires and millionaires. At this point, I remember talking to Haas earlier. At this point, if it ain't gonna be no us, we gotta come together with the small group that's gonna make it happen and see if we can spread this shit out further. Other than that, man, it's one on the noise with these elections. I'm tired of it. I'm done with it, man. I'm done with these elections, man. So are you voting or you not? I'm not voting. Okay. For what? I gotta make it regardless. I would never, I've been, yo, my ancestors, been building this fucking country with no liberty and no justice. Hold the coaches out. Huh? Keep down on the coaches. Okay, pardon me. My ancestors, <laughs> my ancestors <laughs> been building this country. My ancestors been building this country since 1619 or probably further than that with no liberty and no justice. Going crazy. Okay. Ain't no way, ain't no way I'm sitting up here believing in the system that's been felling this. Do you know how many people that's incarcerated for something that they didn't do? You know how many people, no, talk about the education system because they're not talking about the education system. You want to know why? 
Do you want to know why? <laughs> because because the education system the education system is another way of saying we want you to be manipulated so you could go to prison. They built third they built prisons based off of third grade test scores. They will give each state will give a state prison more money for prisoners than they will give a kid that's in a public school system. So at the end of the day, you're not talking about nothing. So why am I voting for anybody? I got to figure it out one way or another, regardless if I vote or not. You know how many people is locked up for child support? I'm talking about when you get locked up in PA or New York, you're getting locked up next to murderers and killers because you're not paying child support? Right. I'm not saying that's a good thing. But just because he he not paying child support, that don't mean he's a murderer. Now, if this man dies in jail because he ain't paid child support, what are you gonna tell his child? Oh, well, he ain't paid his child support. Like that's what I want to talk about. You tell his child that he died because he didn't give a care if he died. He didn't support. <laughs> what you tell him? I'm proud of black people always crying and it's excuse about everything. Bro, I've been listening to this. And you think gave a million excuses about everything people people do wrong. False, this is bro. not this is not um America. This is America. So it's who you voting for? Pot. It's a melting pot of all. And I'm tired of our people trying to act like it's just about them. I'm tired of our people acting like the jail system and the prison system, Hassan. No, our people doing a lot of weird things, a lot of extreme things for no reason. So when are we going to say that dude that went over there and robbed that old lady deserved that 30 years? When are we going to say them dudes that shot that park up and hit that little kid deserve that life top? Bro, stop acting like they knocking on people's doors, bro, and just taking us to jail, homie. I agree with you. You wasn't even listening. Yeah, I just agree with you. Crying, bro, like crying, crying. No, 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 I no, 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 no. Penitentiary. I deserve to go to the penitentiary. <laughs> I should have been the in there longer. Point. Because I didn't get caught for all the things that I really did. You ain't never heard me cry about but you being false. I wasn't crying. Locked up. I wasn't even crying. You ain't even hear the beginning part. I said. Bro, it don't I, matter. Stop the crying. You ain't going to go go all this. My people built this and built we this. We did. And everybody built this. Yeah, no, but, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. No. Everybody built this. No, it took for no. them. It took for them to bring us over here the way they did to have the idea to do what they did for this to start being built. Let's keep it real, right? Let's keep it real. Listen, if what they didn't have the ideology that we need manpower to do this and do that and do this, then we wouldn't be here. It was they thought, whether as, as screwed up as it was, right? That guy, and I'm gonna be real. You need to be happy our people went through what they went through. Because if they didn't go through what they went through and wasn't shipped over here, you, me, him, them, a Michael Jordan, or whoever wouldn't exist today. So the problem is we they went through what they went through for us. And we crying about it. Right. Right? Martin Luther King marched for uh, 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 desegregation. You know what we did? Segregated ourselves. We better not catch you at this part. You better not go to this school. Let's talk about it, bro. I'm tired of niggas just crying and crying and don't never say, you know what? We are part of the problem. That's the but that's the but that's the purpose. That's the reason why I say there's no need to vote. We need to fix ourselves. We don't no need to vote. We don't need to vote. What are you talking about? Nah. Because uh -huh. what are we looking for? What are we looking nah, for when we vote? Uh -huh. If we don't listen, if we don't let them hear our voice. We're in, we'll never have a voice. We never. We don't even got a voice with each other. That's the Let purpose. Listen, That's what Barack saying. Obama, he got in office because of the black voice. We He got voted in because he was black. Let's just be real. Yes. We didn't even care about what he was doing. We just right. wanted a Negro in the White House. That's a fact. So don't tell us we don't got a voice. We just go out there for what's in style. So, 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 so let me ask you a question. A lot of us were ignorant when we, when Obama came in and he started, he went out for president. We went out there and just voted for him because he was black. That's the ignorance right there. That's the ignorance right there. Well, I've been we waiting for you to say it. You ain't said no, it. But you just came in. I've been saying it. You what ain't the, said nothing. I just said. We're talking about. 
I said it, it's no reason for us to vote if we ain't got us then together. Then you part of the problem. If you say there's looking, no reason for black people to vote, you're part of the problem. I mean, I, listen, what are we looking for? If we can't save ourselves, somewhere. what are we looking for? Then we, 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 we should you know, you know what the problem about getting on the back of the bus. We shouldn't have nothing to say about where we can eat at, that we couldn't vote. How in the hell we go to war, lose all these people since you talking about our people? Dogs bite them, water hoses, beat, battle, all this stuff to vote. And now here you are. Tell we need new solutions for vote. outdated problems, man. New no, solutions for outdated they went problems. Through that. They back went then, through that. Yeah, but back then. So how you back, telling these people not to vote now, bro? No, we need new solutions for outdated problems. Back then, that was the way to go. In 2025. Then go vote and get it put on the ballot. You get it put on the ballot by the vote. In 2025, it's too much shit going on to be like, I believe in a system that's been failing. No, we gotta we gotta vote for ourselves. It's failing. It's we failing. gotta vote for ourselves. You know yes. why you on this, this YouTube right now? Cause you got a YouTube and you've been building your YouTube. Don't tell me the system been failing when you yourself, me, high side, everybody on here is utilizing certain things in the system to survive. I don't right. think this is a part of the system. Which, what? They, they, look, they just say Negroes can't be on YouTube. That's what it would have been if we wouldn't have voted, right? Since you nah, they need us on YouTube. Vote. They need us on YouTube because no, they know we're going to make the all point. the money. You're missing the point, bro. Like, listen, your positioning in the system is on you. Right. You can be a drug dealer. You can be a yeah. bank robber. Mm -hmm. You can be a businessman. You can be whatever. Your position in the system on you. Kilo, don't drop the link in the comment section. Send us the man, pull up. I got don't you. Don't say the system is failing when it just may be the individuals in the system coming up with a plan to fail. So let me ask you a question then. So let me ask you a question. We Everybody can't afford private school and everybody can't make it in a charter school. That's why we so got public school. I, okay. So the, why is the public school failing us then? If that's all that we got. Hey, bro, you I'm know how to read and write? I'm going to tell you why. Because you let your kids' education start and end with them. What you doing when they get home? No, I, again. I, 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 this is Cass Jones. You didn't you answer the question. You, you didn't answer the question because West a lot of... It's Cass Jones you're talking to. A lot of people cannot... I'm talking about as a collective. Yes, as a, as a man, me, myself... Then yeah, I am teaching. I am teaching my sons and my daughters when they're home and learning about what they learn in the school. As a matter of fact, I'm in school teaching. So what I'm trying to explain to you is this though. It's a curriculum that you have to follow when you're teaching these kids. It's a lot of parents that can't afford to miss school. I mean, can't afford to miss jobs and can't and aren't able because they're incompetent to teach their kids. Now we can take it even further and say, well, don't have kids. But that's that's an oxymoron. We know people go. What does that kids. have to do with voting, bro? The school because are there for I, because you just deflect and move the goalposts. What I'm telling you is, it's a lot the of schools people. are there. I hate to say it, if mm -hmm. your kid has no discipline, because discipline starts at home. If your kid want to go to school and be disruptive, if your kid want to go to school and talk during class and ignore the teacher, and there ain't no teachers there. Because at home, you let him do whatever he do. Don't get mad that he got There's a bunch no of There's no teachers in the schools. They right. are the teachers, the teachers are dropping out just like the students are. This is what I I'm trying to explain to you. That, bro. you can't, okay, well, that's hey, listen. You, do you, right. The student gotta show up to be taught, right? No, the teachers gotta teach you too. They're not everybody there. but us. I'm well, not blaming people, what, nobody. What, what do we get the blame for? We get the blame for not believing in us. Yes, that's the blame. For not for not but for not believing, for not helping, for not trying to build an infrastructure of the community, tearing down our community. This we man's story up that. here, Hassan's story. I've never heard him tie that story to a white man. I Did heard I him guess? tie that story to a black man who had a powerful movement who right now today try to camouflage and protect that man. Stop acting like we ain't part of our own problem. Nobody, I'm we are the problem, yes. So, so, yes. why, so, why, why, um, 
Whose policies do you like in this election? Who you going for? Like, it's like this. I understand that Carmella doesn't have the resources and the relationships to dig us out of the hole we in right now. You can say what you want. I don't blame a man for being a racist if he's 80 years old. That's the area he come from. I, I really respect the man for letting me know who he is and how he stand, right? He ain't camouflaging it. It's a lot to Kamala that we don't know and she's scared to let us know because she don't, you know, she's scared she's gonna lose the vote. One minute, she locking all the black people up. The next minute, she's the answer for the black people. Right now, the state we in is as if we don't have a president and she's part of that regime right now. She's, part, she's the VP of that. I know right now with Trump in there, with the resources and the relationship he has, it's a whole lot that can change, right, when it just comes to the economic structure of this country. Because right now, we in trouble, brother. We are we, we in a lot of trouble. And see, the thing that I don't get, you know, when you, when you listen to Kamala, all I'm hearing when it comes to her policies is my body, my choice. But under Kamala, what she, people forget. They try to make it seem like it's going to be doomsday if Trump get in the office, not realizing that Trump did four years and Kamala just did four years. So now when you sit back and you analyze the situation, yes. it's like, yeah. OK, under Kamala Harris and Biden. We pretty much watch. So many super countries or superpowers dump the American dollar. Every day we wake up, there's a news flash of a different country dumping the American dollar. And at some point in some time, that's going to affect us as a people. Because it's yeah, going to bring about vote, infla he, inflation. He we, we are, you know, our voice don't matter when, and, you know, don't vote. Yeah, I mean, like at the end of the day, we're making enough money where we don't got to vote. What? See, the thing, no, 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 no. See, listen, what you got to understand is... listen. Hey, listen, huh? at the end of the day, right? Listen, be fly, right? You come from a city like Philadelphia, right? Mm -hmm. one, one of the major issues in Philadelphia is the violence, black on black violence. The gun mm -hmm. violence in Philadelphia is crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kamala is, is uh, she's trying to do something where everybody has the second amendment, the, the right to bear arms, years. right? All right, let me, let me finish. They're trying. The Democratic administration is trying to ban all assault rifles from any civilians, meaning the switches, the AR-15s, the Which machine. is already banned. Well, no, they're trying to, listen, they, they're banned. A switch is illegal. A mm -hmm. switch is Wherever illegal. you're at. No, mm -hmm. civ listen, civilians are owning AR-15s in New Jersey, anywhere. We got yeah, that's not a switch. It's not a no, switch. No, no, not, no, I'm talking about, that's an assault rifle. That's right? not a switch. That's an assault handgun. Okay, so Converted. listen. I'm talking about the major, the major uh, weapons that we shouldn't possess out there. Just the military should have. They're trying to ban those from civilians. I think that's a good idea because a lot. What? If you think of, it is a good idea. Civilians shouldn't own those weapons. Yeah, you, Why you not? haven't been. You haven't been. What happens? So what? What, what happens when it's new world order? I, I the agree. The government restrict us, so when they want to come in and do us in, we we, ain't, we can't defend ourselves. No, no, she's not saying we can't we can't arm ourselves with knives and, and rugers and forty five. Yo, man, get them out of here, bro. Um, we can arm have, them. Let them have knives. I and said knives. Knives. I said knives, not a knife. I said a knife. We we allowed to have handguns, but I said that regular. Hey, bro, listen, listen. Do you not understand that when they do that, it does nothing but help the black market? You'll never stop the movement. I, of I agree with that. Yeah, we never gonna stop the. We never gonna stop it. But I think when you hear them say guns are not gonna be allowed into America, they can't be sold from the gun store. Then they're trying to do something. But like, bro, what are we talking about? I'm just talking about the they make ghost guns. Limiting they, the niggas is making guns off the internet. Would you, they're would you, making guns now, nigga. 
Oh no, I understand that, but I mean, listen, they well. gotta they gotta do something to limit some of the you know a switch the guns coming in to stop some of the violence. They got you know how much the switch costs, right? You said what? You know how much the switch costs, right? Of course, it's expensive. Yeah, I know. Twenty dollars. No, oh my God. He, he, listen, that's what I'm but, saying. You ain't even touch. But listen, uh, there, there's certain ones. There's uh, certain no, ones that is, that's it's expensive. The, the piece you add to the firearm is twenty dollars. You can, I know, but you I'm can make it on. You can make it on. You can make it on your computer. You got a printer. Listen, it don't matter what kind of switch it is. It's twenty dollars, bro. Twenty dollars. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Listen, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Certain people that talk about gun policies, like bro, you, you if you're not in the streets, you shouldn't be talking about it. Because that's true. That's not, and and loose, everybody been in the streets, man. Niggas is no, 40 listen. years old. Niggas, now, ain't nobody glorifying. So you're telling me if somebody up. come and kicking your door with an AR-15 or listen, something I'm like that, and he's done he's his, his, his door, 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 and I'm, I'm booming a nigga, a nigga kicking my door. I'm mm -hmm. saying you keep talking about the streets. We 40 something years old. We shouldn't be glorifying the streets at 40 something uh, years old. Bro, it ain't glorifying the very real. I don't know where you're from, but niggas listen. out here getting killed in Beverly Hills. Hey, listen, that's what biggest got here. So I don't Coast know about day. your streets. Whenever you go to the bank, the yeah. store, you're in the streets. Listen, I understand that. I'm listen, today we talking about policy. It's yeah. no, we not. He's telling the people not to vote. Listen, <laughs> listen, that's not what I'm telling the people. I'm He's telling the people no we got Democrats or Republicans. Let Martin we Luther make King die in vain. You said what? Let Mo Dr. Martin Luther King die in vain. No, no man. It, it's not even hey, about him dying the boat, in vain. Did he, not? he marched, got attacked by dogs, hit with water holes, people batons, locked up unjustly. Well, are they doing to that the today? Boat. Are they letting that go down today? Yes or no? no? But you... No, but you're people saying, fighting back now. You're saying screw all that. No, I'm don't not. vote. They no, I'm not. I'm telling you this, and I'm gonna say this true. real slow. We need new solutions for outdated problems. That was an outdated problem. Today, you're not just punching on people without us punching back. That's what I'm telling you. But you're saying for what? No, I'm saying exactly. Stop voting. Uh, what, what, happened what, I'm what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this, right? No, if LeBron James, now, let me ask you a question. If LeBron James, in the height of his career, said, "You know what? I don't want to play for the NBA no more. I want to start my own organization of basketball." You happen. don't think he could do it? Not happen. There's nothing. Nothing. It's not gonna happen. And that's the problem right there. He's not big the program. Disorder. It's not that's the a problem. post traumatic slave disorder mentality. Because imagine uh, if LeBron James, imagine if LeBron James said, you know what? Right. And Michael he gets Jordan, paid by the white man, bro. The, see, the, see bro, no, bro, no, bro, no. Hey, bro. We see hey, bro. You can't go build uh, a commercial building, a residential, because it's zoned that way. I understand. If everybody can start their own, if everybody can start their own NBA, It'd be just like the music game. Everybody can go put their music up everywhere and drop over that. So it's oversaturated. That's why nobody making no money. Well, well, got to be I, some restrictions somewhere. Well, I will tell you this then, right? And I'm only using this as an example. I ain't going to deflect. But that's like Ice Cube saying, well, the big three won't work and you won't get NBA players playing in the big three or ex-NBA players playing in the big three. Can't nobody Daddy tell me nothing won't work until Ice we try. Cube is, Ice Cube established a situation were X. Shout out to Ice No Cube. longer playing. That want to make some money, who want to get some brand endorsement deals, you can come over here. Yeah. He's not challenging the NBA. I know that's not the point. That, that I know that. That's the when, point. No. When I'm telling you, you in the United States of America, certain things are established certain ways for a reason, bro. If things never, we if we all at an age right now where we seen things happen that we never thought would happen, can nobody tell me that it won't work until you show me that you tried? That's what I'm saying. Work. And look, have you seen Mercedes Benz come over here and set up a plant and start building their cars over here? No, no, you know not why? that I know of. You know why? Because if they was able to come over here and do so, not that they don't have the money to do it. Right? What does that do to the U.S. built car to our market? It makes it way more accessible, right? It brings the cost down, right? Yeah. Certain things are established, bro, for us for a reason. 
It's just real. What I'm saying is this. Again, that way it makes sense for them to come all the way to America. Like yes, you it said, would. You said, you said the right thing. What I'm you know how much the fees cost to ship them cars on that boat? I the cover same? all the logistics. When are we all going to realize that we are the money? That's the problem. A lot of us don't realize we are walking currencies. Who and the we? reason why we don't know everybody on YouTube, we brothers, the to owners, we? us as black people, we are walking okay, currencies. Okay, this is my disposition. Go ahead. Us as people, I'm American. Right. That's okay, cool. let me let you know this now. Mm -hmm. I'm not fucking African. That's I'm of cool. African descent. Right. I am American. All right. right. So when you say American, you have Asian American. You got all kind of Americans. Mm -hmm. I do business. I deal with Americans in mm -hmm. America. I'm not stuck on this we shit because we kill us. That's a fact. You they killed them too. I'm not stuck on that. I saw Malcolm stuck on that. Yeah. And when Malcolm found out about the majority and the, and the, the reach, they like, we don't want you to teach that to them. We want to control us. So I think if you got out there in America, you will discover the American way and do your business. And as you do your business, if you want to hire some of us, then cool. But all this, all the blacks come over here, it's not going to work. Not in America. It don't even work in Africa. Yo, they said, I remember when Pac said, we ain't ready to have a black president. Pac ain't nobody, bro. Don't get me started on the Pac. Pac okay. I had great music. He was a liar. All I said, all I said, he was a follower. He was a okay. liar. He was a follower. He was a rapist. Let's talk about it. Listen, all I said was he said is, he got books. All I said, yeah, I'm not a nigga. I don't bite my tongue because I don't care where it's gonna be, what it's gonna be. Don't use Pac when we talk about said, the greatness. You of said this he world. had great music, right? You said he That's had great it. music, right? So I repeated what he and said. His not music. all of it. The nigga talked about killing kids. I didn't. Uh, I, I, maybe you were you from out there? <laughs> Did he not talk I, about I don't killing kids? That. I don't remember. My fofo -fo makes sure Hector. all your kids he don't grow. My fofo -fo makes sure all your kids don't grow. I mean, work. I think that was some slick shit to say, yeah. No, nigga, he said it. I think that was some slick shit Since to say. So you want to keep, you want to move past pop? Because don't get me on the pop. I think that was some <laughs> I mean, we niggas do it online all the time. They just say shit. The nigga go to, to the bay, he got a gumby top with a flower shirt dancing. He go back to New York, he got the baggy <laughs> jeans and the Tim's on. He go to LA, now he's blood and MOB and, and dead and he got, he got months. away he with it. He was a fraud, he was a follower, nigga outside of his music, Pac ain't nobody to glorify. Well, what he said, he, he shot at the police. So you don't, you one of them niggas that's gonna say Pac shot at the police too. You that I, 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 you brought that up, I bring that up. Cause I wasn't shooting at the police. We you all know that niggas up. that just shot at the police. Shooting at the police is knowing that's 12. Undercover squad car walking up on him, gunning him. If you shoot at two white boys that you later find out is off duty police, ain't shooting at the police. But yeah, ain't nobody off his wreck. Is he a rapist? Is he a rapist? If that was know. your daughter or your sister, I don't sister, know. I don't know if he was a rapist. No, no. I don't would know. Would you want people to call her a liar? Yeah. You I don't want to know. get off and I'll flame his ass up. I don't know we if he was a rapist. We might our side channel. I come to bring the content. You want to get off pop? It's Pac I don't know if he was a rapist. Pac was yeah. a dummy that couldn't live past 25, who died with 100,000 for that multi platinum albums. His business wasn't right, his mind wasn't right, and he was a hypocrite on what he was talking about. Black Power, MOB, Paul Roof. Nigga, which one is it? Now, you might got a point there. The Get the fuck out of here with that pop <laughs> shit. <laughs> he said we he said we wasn't ready Fuck to have a black president if we had head. one. If you following that, then I see why you telling the people not to vote. So yeah. what? Let me ask you a question, right? What's up, Mike Sin? I got my eyes my glasses. Right on. now, right now, we hours away from a very, very important election. I feel like this is probably one of the most important elections that we probably gonna have in America. If you had to say 
and you and choose your words to speak to the people to encourage them to vote for Trump. Like, what is the PowerPoints that you're looking for? Like, you know, use your voice to tell the people like why they should go out and vote for Trump if that's who you voted for. And then Kilo, after that, what you could do, being that you know the brother don't, don't he's not voting, Kilo, you can you can you can convince the people <laughs> why they should go vote for Kamala. <laughs> I can't hey, wait to hear this shit. Listen, listen the people uh, that hate us. Whack first. Let Wack go first. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Wack. Go ahead. Pol politics. Politics ain't, on, ain't about right and wrong. It's about the politics of the situation. And if politics make a right situation wrong and a wrong situation right, depending on what's going on, the state we in, the resources we need, the relationships we need with these other countries, to kill war, to keep our children from going over there dying in war, and get our economy back, lays on the better side of Donald Trump. Kamala doesn't, she doesn't have the resources. She don't know enough of these people. She hasn't been in bed with these people. She got to figure these people out that Trump already has a working relationship with that has nothing to do with that White House. That he can leverage this against that to get this done for the people. Right, I don't care about what is uh, is racism. I don't care about that. I I guess he brought more um, uh, more of the black programs available to us when he was in office than any other president. He opened the doors to a lot of things. So this ain't about a woman. This ain't about being black. She don't even claim to be black anyway. Right? Uh, we didn't already did the black thing, and the black dude legalized same sex marriage. Know what I'm saying? Right. So I just feel like right now in the state that our country is in, that we need somebody that we need a fixer. We don't need a fixer. We don't need somebody to let's give a chance. We need a fixer. And we cannot take away the fact that Donald Trump is, in fact, a fixer. That's it. OK, Kilo Graham, what, what, what is what is the reason why you telling the people because they watching? I said my points. I spoke my piece in the very beginning. Of this. But you know what? There was nobody in the building. Now there's, there's people, you know, in the building. The numbers are, are up there, and the people are okay. listening. They want to hear your voice. They want to. God, repeat that. Re re repeat that stupid shit that you said earlier. Come on, we waiting. Listen, look, we're gonna we're gonna start right there with the stupid shit you talking about. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get right on your ass today. We ain't doing that. Shit. <laughs> Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Right Let's shit. get ready to rumble. Every time y'all hear him call me stupid. I'm stopping. No, 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 don't stall, don't stall. Get to your points. All right, then. Well, don't, don't try to do that today, because I'm, I'm- Listen, you're get to your points. Kilo, you get to your, get to sorry. your points. What's up? Get to your points. Already, bro. Now, see, 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 see what? Go ahead, get to your points. Listen, drop the link in the comment no, section I, as well, because we're going to have other people come up. I dropped the link. Drop it again and get to your points. We want to hear your points. The people are listening. Would you say, huh? Would you the say people want to hear. The people want to hear your points. <laughs> All right, look. Let me cook, and I'm gonna drop the. Uh, I'm gonna drop the. Uh, he said, drop, drop it again. You heard his instructions. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey listen. That's right. Whack talk to him. Cut it out. All right, listen. Like I told you, at the. Hey, Haas, don't do that. Listen. Okay, <laughs> my points for Kamala is uh, like I told y'all before. Um, anybody that's Democrat that's on the live, salute to y'all. Um, but all my stoners, if y'all, y'all, she's gonna decriminalize uh, marijuana, which is a good thing. You know, marijuana in New Jersey is already legal, but it's not just for the smokers, but for the hustlers. You get caught with a certain amount, you don't go to jail. She's decriminalizing it. Also, so, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. So yeah. she's been, she's decriminalizing weed after she locked half the country up for thirteen years. I mean, Haas, we're moving into new times. So whatever happened in the past, we're talking about the current election and things that we're trying to bring forth for 2025 and beyond. You heard? So, so, so if a nigga, so if a nigga, hold on, let me ask you a question. So if a nigga smash your wife, we in, we in new times, right? Y'all cool tomorrow? No, nah, no. Nah, my wife and marijuana <laughs> is two different things, Slav. You know what I mean? Respectfully. Enslaving, enslaving black people for something as simple as marijuana and giving dudes decades in jail okay, is more so, serious. Okay, since since you right there, the man that you voting for grabs pussies for a living. Is that good? I do too. Okay, so listen. No, but listen. This bro, man got bro, 39 once again, that's what we and, don't and have. And is this like your it. king? 
He got 39 felonies right now. So what? No, it ain't no so what. At the end of the day, he can't stand for nothing positive if he out here committing fraud and all kind of other shit. Are you saying his resources aren't what they are? What I'm saying is he's a crook. That's cool. Our government is crooks. Everybody is a crook. Okay, so listen. At the end of the yeah. day, can I make my point? Am I going to get the point? Go ahead. We listen. Go ahead. Cool, because y'all can't, 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 can't poison the people. Let me make my point. Okay, so the other po the first policy, I'm going to be quick. The first policy is the criminalizing marijuana. The second policy is that we spoke about the um, the uh, reproductive freedom, the abortion act that she's she's all for women having a choice. Third is the border patrol. Hold on, stop for a second. Okay, go ahead. The abortions, right? Let's kick. I'm 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 not gonna lie. I don't even believe that. I don't like. For the first time in history, like abortions is something that. I've never seen men discuss. Now we don't discuss I've, that. I've never, no, but you are. And see, my whole thing is, the thing that pisses me off and disgusts me, that turns my stomach, is because when you listen to Trump. Right. When, yeah, love, this shit finna go crazy. This shit finna go crazy, boy. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, right, yo, 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 did you stop?